way back, yeah Walk with a whole lot of rats, yeah Told on a whole lot of straps, yeah Push a nigga shit way back, yeah Quite cold as a bitch, no cap, yeah Fuck nigga, play this rat, yeah Fuck nigga, play this rat, part five. I'm, give, I'm doing these parts way quicker You see, I got this bitch out quicker than than I usually am. I'm getting, I'm getting my, sh I'm getting my shit back together. You feel me? But we finna get right into it. I played the first game off camera. I should record a little bit of footage, but <clears throat> I played, I played the whole game. I still fucking lost. <laughs> but the reason this is why I lost. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I dropped 48 points to Porzingis. I like I said, I played the whole game, so I, I dropped the whole 40. I dropped 48 points with him, my damn self. <clears throat> I got all the blocks and all this shit. It's all me. All, I did all of this shit, right? So, if you can see, I got 48. Romeo Langford, that boy is cold as hell. You feel me? We them, I don't think we got a big three because Cancer, he ain't going to be able to do this every night. But these two right here, they're going to be able to drop 20 points a piece. I'm, I'm a ho hoping R Romeo could do this shit as a computer because it's so easy to hit a jump shot. He's decent as hell. I, I, these, these two, these are the best two pair players on the team. Cancer, that boy came in like clutch in some moments. He was very efficient. That boy Ross Hill. I don't know if he can, like I said, the computer can drop 20 points with him, but I know he's gonna get some boards and he's gonna get some decent points. Kevin Knox is eh, you know what I'm saying? 15 is good. Um, even though his jump shot, <clears throat> he was missing a lot. Well, it's just man, I didn't even take a lot of shots with him, did I? It's he's slow. That's his problem. I really couldn't get him in the offense like that unless he was just catching up, like catching shooting. But he couldn't really create his. He can't create his own shot. Dead ass. Like he has to be a catch and shoot type of guy. Um, they're not arrested now. These two, one, two, three, four. Right, there's four people on this list that started. You see the rest of the people. Twenty nine minutes for Marcus Smart. I was only able to get six. I look at the fuck. Look at this. O for six from three. And mind you, I was not jacking up threes. Trust me. I was shooting wide open threes with him. Now I know his three point shot is not high. But at a fucking 74 open, he should at least hit maybe one or two. That's all I ask. Mid-range is a 78, and he was three for 13. But I was able to get nine assists with him, three steals. You know what I'm saying? He going to play defense. He going to, that's, you know what I'm saying? I need the offense. Nina Killen, I couldn't really score with him because he's so fucking sluggish. He's one for, he was one for six and 0 for two from three. But he had, I had 11 assists with him. He could pass, and he's pretty good at defense. And here's now here's the big downfall. I know Nina Killing the Smart gonna give me some points every once in a while. And he's off the bench, right? So these are my starters. One, two, three, four, and five. My bad, five. Smart was ass. Lynn was okay. I don't expect him to give me more than you know what I'm saying, ten points anyway. So I'm, I'm gonna keep him out. But he could have played a little better. Nina, definitely Smart could have played a little better. Robinson, two points. Corey Joseph, one for four, two points. I couldn't score with him. I Luka Bamute, he could not defend for shit. I only shot one shot, right? Got one block, that's it. Our bench scoring is the problem. We don't have a killer off the bench that can score. Smart is okay. I, I, got, I know he's going to at least give me 10 points for the most part. Here and there, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give me 10, 11. Like, he's probably going to get around this, these mini points per game right here, right? Lynn, same thing. I don't really expect him to give me more than fucking 10 points, maybe. Right? Where is it? Right? 8, 9 points, right? So if I get 8 out of him, 10, 11, 12 out of him, I need somebody else to, to drop points off the bench. So we need a bench score. It's not going to be Luke Bamute. I might give Dawson a try. But I was thinking like, damn. I look at the free agency, right? Look what we got. We got Wayne... Wayne Ellington right here, 31 years old, sharpshooter, right? Uh, Mike Scott, I really don't want a four, another shooter, right? I don't know. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We got Alec Burks, uh, a decent-ass score, I would say, a shooter. Caldwell Pope, 3 and D, right? You want to keep the defense up a little bit. Even Aminu, another defender slash three-point shooter, you know what I'm saying? The, the, what I thought what's the name could be for me, but he's not playing like that. Seth Curry. We have so many options to choose from to, to, to build our bench. I just don't know if we can have if we have enough money to do it. Honestly. Like we, we're in a hole right now. So I don't even know if, if I if I have enough money to sign any of these people. Honestly, I really want to grab Bullock. 
because he got the height and all that shit, and he's a way better shooter. Depends on who decides to sign with me, because I know I can't afford. I'm not gonna be able to give him exactly what they want. We'll go with Bullet. We're gonna go with Bullet. Cause I need bucks off the bench. I need bucks, more bucks off the bench. He coming off the bench. See, he wants one year, eight million. I cannot afford that. I can only offer like the league minimum and shit like that. That's crazy. That is goofy as hell. That is goofy as hell. Bro, you're you're gonna rot in free agency. Like that's what I'm talking about. Motherfuckers is not finna. <sighs> looks like Wayne Ellison might have to be. <laughs> I might have to grab Wayne Ellison at this point. I probably can't get Caldwell Pope either. Caldwell Pope first. What do he say? One year, seven mil. Yeah, yeah. People tripping. He asked for four. He just asked for four fucking million. And now it went up to seven. Like, dead ass. None of these people want to sign with me. The only person I probably will be able to get is Jamal Crawford. Who's 38 years old. And will leave me by next season. Because he's probably going to fucking retire. 39 years old. He's, he's probably going to fucking retire. Ooh, available. I have to get Jamal Crawford. Because this game is stupid. Like, come on now. <sighs> The one thing I can do now is have it so that he, uh, what's the name, can develop some rookies for me. That's like the only thing I can say. All right, so I decided to play the game against the Magic. And, um, of course, the last five minutes, I actually played the whole entire game. And uh, y'all saw that block? That's, that's a cold-ass block by my man's cancer. But, yeah, I decided to play the whole-ass game. And I'm going to show you the last five minutes. I was going crazy in this game. And... I ain't gonna say I was going crazy. The whole team, we're really in Porzingis. My man's Porzingis is the easiest thing. He's the easiest person to score in this game. He, I think he had like, I don't know. You gonna see how many points he dropped? Well, I dropped with him. But the thing is, we still have a problem with our bench scoring. I was struggling at some points in this game when I put the bench in because motherfuckers can't score. You feel me? Like I, I need a better backup point guard. What's the name? Is not finna be able to handle this. Handle, handle running the team off the bench. So, I might have to try to find some trades to develop my depth. You feel me? Like, we got the core starting five. And uh, I would say Smart is safe and Lynn is safe. So, I got seven players that I know I could count on for something. But the rest of the team, I need at least two other guys. Jamar Crawford, okay. I give him the benefit of the doubt. He going to have his games. I need, besides Jamar Crawford, right, two to three other people. So, I need a, a good 10 players that I can depend on, on the, for this team. We can, def, like, play against people like the Celtics and the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? We don't need depth. But um, as you can see right now, Porzingis got like, 30, almost 40 points. Open shot with, with uh, Knox. Knox going to give me some points here and there. I know for a fact. I ain't looking for him to drop 20 points every night. But for damn sure, you got to give me a smooth 15. You feel me? Um. But uh, I, I I be working these people too hard when I play with them because I don't trust nobody. I don't trust my bench. I only trust Smart and Lynn. And and Smart be tweaking. So, I, really, I, Jamar Crawford is the only person off the bench that can score for me. That's sad. We had a 40-year-old man that is the only person that can score off the bench. But I, the, the Magic ain't even the best team. So, um... It really wasn't a problem. I just really dead ass abused Porzingis. He's unstoppable in this fucking game. Even, um, like I said, Knox had a good game, but really Porzingis was the main reason why I was just killing. Um, Lanford has seven. You see, he got seventeen right now. I don't know if, like I said, if he's gonna be efficient this season because some of the games I simulated, I simulated some games past well before this before I started playing this right. He wasn't playing that good, honestly. I think he's only averaging like 12 points per game. I need him to average close to, to fucking 20, close to 20. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think the computer can do it by themselves. But look at that move by Cantor. Get a buck. You feel me? I don't, I don't know. I feel like Cantor, Cantor got to be in the lineup. I I was, I almost didn't sign him back. But if we can build the team around Cantor, Porzingis, Langford, okay. I like him. Can't, uh, Knox, if he gets a little better, we're, we're straight. I don't know about the point guard. I don't know if Nick Ken is going to be the right man for the job still. And for Dan sure, we need a better bench. So, I don't know if we should trade uh, fucking Smart away. 
trade Nina Killing away. I don't know what you, I don't know what to do. But yeah, the computer was tweaking too. They kept trying to go at Persingas the whole game with uh Aaron Gordon and my man's was locking that up. Well, I was locking that up. You feel me? But still though, I'm gonna still say my man's was locking that up. And like I said, look, it's super easy to just score with this man. I was just like, fuck it. Let me throw something up. I missed, though. But that badge, that post, that post scoring badge is funny as hell. Like, he just threw a fucking elbow at this man. I missed a shot, though. And overall, our defense finally came to play this game. We was killing the ass with the steals, like, as you can see right there. But overall, the whole game, look at right there. We had 21. Well, they have, they, the, the Magic have 21 turnovers in this game. So, I knew this team would be decent at defense. And, uh, really, they should be playing better than what they have been playing on defense. But, I don't know. Like, this game, they really just was going crazy on the defensive end. Smart can't shoot for shit. <laughs> I just need to stop shooting with this man. I really be putting too much faith in him on the offensive end. But, um, you see that? That was definitely a steal. Like, he just caught that shit through my mess. From this angle, we don't like that. But, uh, my mess is up there. It's cool, though. You see the score. We up by... Fucking not eight points, so we straight. I ain't really worried about nothing. Pick and row action. That's all day. See, like, that's cheese right there. But the computer does it too, so I can't even say it's cheese. I'm just giving the computer back what the fuck they do to me. At the end of the day, this team... I don't know. I don't think we got it this year. I thought I thought we had a p potential to maybe make the playoffs. Because, you know, the East is weaker. You feel me? Um... But I don't even fucking know at this point. Like, hopefully we can be, hopefully we can make the playoffs. I'm going to see if I can make some trades before it's too late to get some depth. Um, I don't know who I would trade. Like I said, I can only trade Noah and Thomas and uh, even uh, the dude Taletta Fitch and Luka Mon uh, the, the, You know what I'm talking about. I can't say dude they I could trade him, but I don't even know who I would get. Really... I'm not even looking for like people to stay with me. I just need some offense. If they can, if I can get somebody, dumb people or a couple trades with dumb people and get some people that can score off the bench, I'll take it any day of the week. You feel me? I might give Dawson more time because he can. He got offensive like attributes, but he just I, I can't score with that man. The man is not that good. So even with an open shot, like his jump shot is ass. Maybe a computer can play better with him, but I can't play with that man. But you can see the defense came to play again at the end of the game. But that's all I got. I'm going to probably not show anything else unless I do a trade. Um, Go right into up to the playoffs. Because there's really nothing else for me to do. But to, shit, I either tank and get more draft picks. Or, because we got people. We don't really have to worry about signing nobody. We got a team set. I just got to get depth. I just got to get more depth off the bench. We'll be straight.